what do I mean by physiological microcosm? So physiological means uh, the workings of your body, physiology. In college, you might study anatomy, which is the parts of your body, and physiology, which is how the parts work. And uh, this is Neo-Swedenborgianism, and Swedenborg was an anatomist and a physiologist who later in his life had this uh, spiritual experience, and he started, instead of writing about science, he started writing about heaven and hell. And the neo-Swedenborgianistic position is that his writings about heaven and hell are an extension of his physiological writing. So heaven and hell is a part of your physiology. And um, just recently, I discovered this, this passage in uh, J. Hewitt McKenzie, where he describes the spirit spheres in miles around Earth. And his description matches precisely the description of the Van Allen belts, which were not even discovered until 50 years after he wrote this. So how did he get these numbers correct? And my answer is that what he was visiting appeared to him to be up in the sky, appeared to him to be around the earth, but was in fact a physiological, meaning within his own body, microcosm, meaning a little tiny world. So, my answer to the question I asked a couple days ago, how is this possible? My answer is that J. Hewitt McKenzie was visiting a physiological microcosm of the Earth and the Van Allen belts that existed within his own physiology somehow. I don't claim to know how, but the, the, the precision of the numbers is compelling enough that I have to come up with an answer. And I do not... My answer is not that he went up to the sky and floated above Earth. My answer is that he, it seemed like that to him, but what in fact happened is he visited this place within himself, which is a physiological microcosm of not just the physical Earth, not just everybody on Earth, but extending out thousands of miles into space also. So we have within ourselves this physiological microcosm of Earth and the Van Allen belts. <laughs>